Roll with the take hit me from Neota or Nyota, Tennessee, and said, first of all, love the show and your take on everything college football. You've said several times that the expanded playoff is worse for the regular season than the four team. But have you given thought to the fact that once a team loses two regular season games, their fan base is severely disinterested in what happens? Uh, yeah, I've given thought to that. I've also given thought to why that is. I, I, I don't ever start this conversation at this point. Anyone who listens to or watches the show knows when we talk about this whole meaningless game thing, I don't talk about the here and now because you're doing a disservice to the reality of the situation if you just say, well, if we don't expand the playoff, there will be meaningless regular season games. You can call it that if you want to. Even if you are of that mentality, which I'm not, all I need is two teams and the ball for it to be a meaningful game to me. But even if you do believe, hey, these late November games feel meaningless if you're not in the playoff race, you can't just start it there. You've got to start it where it actually began because we never said that. In 2004, you weren't telling me two lost teams were out of it and their games were meaningless because at that point, you had not had your mind reverse engineered to think that meaning was solely tied to whether you had playoff implications on your game. I know my younger audience does not get this because you never lived it. You've only lived in an era where the well has been poisoned by the playoff, and therefore you've only lived in an era where you're thinking about college football begins with the postseason as everything deriving its meaning from. But it hasn't always been that way. There was a time where you came into a season and you knew, yeah, there are a few teams that could probably win a championship this year. Most of them can't. And then you kind of reclassified teams and said, all right, so for North Carolina this year, they're not going to win a national championship. I think eight wins would be good for them. And then as their season went on, that was your barometer. And if they, if they went on to compete for a title out of the blue, great. But what your mind was thinking is they lose one game in week three. Oh, man, still everything's in play. They lose their second game beginning of November. Hey, it's okay. They lose the third game the week after. Got to lick our wounds and regroup, and they get a win the second to last week of the season. And they're 7-3 they're and three or 7-4 and four heading into the final weekend. Today, you'd call that game meaningless. Back in the day, everything was on the line. Why? Because you had properly placed the barometer for North Carolina football at eight wins. They've got a chance to win their eighth game against Georgia Tech this Saturday. And if they win it, they succeeded relative to your expectation. And also, bowls meant a lot. Bowls meant a lot. They could make the Citrus Bowl if they win this Saturday. And that was the way college football used to be. No one called the games meaningless is the point. So if you're asking me, do we need to change it to make the games meaningful today? My, my thought never is yes or no. I always go back and I provide that context I just gave. And maybe that helps a lot of you understand the source of my anger on a lot of these fronts. But the other thing is, I know we can't go back in time. I know that. My whole plea has been, if we can't go back in time, can we at least take the people responsible for getting us to where we are now and get them out of the room? and remove decision-making privileges from them. That's the best we can do now because we can't go back in time. So I don't want people who made the mess creating more of a mess. And now, as for the follow-up, how do you, you know, create meaning in the regular season? I think there are a lot of formats being worked on right now that would both expand the playoff and maintain meaning in the regular season. I talked about that the other night. I'll talk about it more moving forward. I, I'm not perfect by any stretch, but I think there are ways we can accomplish that. 